This hot balloon experiment video is segment 8 of the Canadian Nuclear Society Ionizing Radiation Workshop series of videos. We have posted this popular experiment first. The hot balloon experiment was developed by Dr. Thomas Wachowicz in 1995. Dr. Wachowicz's paper is available on the CNS website. We stretch a 9-inch balloon and blow it up as large as we can without bursting it. We apply the Medri twist to the stem and slide the balloon stem into a bulldog clip, the kind with no teeth. The clip is tied with fishing line to a magnet attached to a ceiling fixture. We rub the balloon enthusiastically with a microfiber cloth to impart an electrostatic charge on the balloon. The more charge, the better. A neon glow lamp may be used to demonstrate that the charge on the balloon is negative. When the Geiger interfaced USB cable is plugged into the computer, Windows celebrates its addition. This interface has several LED indicators. The blue LED flashes with each Geiger pulse. When the program is launched, it starts up automatically and detects Geiger pulses. An uninflated orange balloon is placed on the screen and a plastic disc on top to flatten the balloon. The font and bar graph settings have been selected for this video format. The default configuration does not record the data. To change this, we stop data collection. We start data collection manually and select logging the count data in a text format. The software is set to count Geiger pulses in each 60 second interval. We have left the red balloon hanging for about 30 minutes. In anticipation of the results, the bar graph scale is adjusted to 7,000 counts per minute, shrinking our background count bars. The software alarm threshold has been set to 100 counts per minute. When the count value exceeds 100, the bar turns red for dramatic effect. We unclip the balloon, untwist, and stretch the stem opening to deflate the red balloon. The first bar value of 4,338 counts per minute is not representative. The next count value proves to be off-scale high at 7,719 counts per minute. We increase the vertical scale to 8,000 counts per minute. After a few minutes, we place a circular paper shield below the metal screen and balloon. The count values drop. This is consistent with the alpha particles emitted by the balloon being absorbed by the paper shield. We remove the paper shield and resume counting. The program was left to run overnight. We skip to the end. By using the slider, we can review the counting history. The count values decay to the background level about six hours after we started. These count values are lower than those obtained with the orange balloon at the start. We hope you enjoyed this experiment. The next time you encounter an inflated balloon, you might recall this phenomenon. In the sequel to this experiment video, we will explore the physics.